Hey guys, Dan uh, back here today. I'm going to do a quick um, how to program uh, a radio in particular. This is the Beofang BFF8HP. Um, one thing that I found with a lot of the YouTube videos that I looked at when trying to get this program, um, I spent more time trying to figure out what they were talking about and watching, you know, a half an hour video for literally something that takes about five minutes to figure out. So I'm gonna dumb this down as simple as possible. Uh, after this video, you'll be able to take this radio program simplex uh, uh, frequencies in and program repeaters in and be able to talk. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna move right into it, thanks. All right, this is gonna be short and simple. I'm just gonna show you how to program in a simplex channel, which is just radio to radio and how to save that to memory, and then also how to program in a repeater frequency and channel, and then save that to memory. To start off, you just need to know that this is the power button or power knob. Frequency mode. Okay, and then you have your push to talk button. This button changes you from frequency mode to channel mode. Channel mode, frequency mode. And then A, B button here, you can see that carrot on the side that just moves it up and down that tells you which line you're broadcasting in or are working on all right to start off for a simplex channel if you're just trying to use one of the fr or gmrs non-repeater channels um, to set this and to be able to broadcast on it it's simple you just type in your frequency so four six two five five zero and then with that all you have to do is hit the push to talk button and you can transmit on that simplex channel. Now to save this into your memory to ensure you have it at all times, if you uh, go back over to channel mode, channel mode. you can see that I have two, two, three, a bunch of different two, channels two, five, one. saved in. Um, to do that, frequency I'm gonna go back mode. to frequency mode I'm going to ensure this is the frequency that I want to work with. If you want to change your transmit power, you want to go to menu item two and then change your transmit power. Um, I recommend following the guidelines on GMRS, whether you're supposed to be, or it, whether you're allowed to transmit on high power or if it needs to be low power, but I digress. Anyways, to save this frequency 462-550 to a channel, you want to hit menu, menu and go to your menu function, which on this particular radio, if I put in two, seven, I get to my menu memory channel and then I hit menu, memory channel. select which channel I want to save it to. I'm going to save it to zero, 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 hit menu again. Memory. Now you see the channel, um, little indicator there has showed up that shows that that channel is now programmed so if i hit exit switch to channel mode, channel mode. now you can see that channel zero is programmed in which just happens to be the same as my channel 15. now if you mess up and you want to delete it you can do it in either channel mode frequency or frequency mode. mode hit menu, menu again and then go to menu function 28 and then you can see there hit menu delete channel. and then I'm going to delete this channel Confirm. and there you go now to program in a simple GMRS repeater you want to first start off with your receiving frequency okay with these repeaters, you have a receiving frequency and a transmit frequency. Uh, most repeaters in the United States, they're listening to an offset of uh, 5 megahertz, and it's normally a positive 5. So in order to key in that actual repeater, not only do you have to have the right uh, PL tones or CTCS tones, but you also have to set your transmit um, offset to 5. If you just want to run... Uh, in frequency mode and you don't want to actually save the channel because you're just doing a test first off you start again with your receiving uh, frequency so we're gonna do retype this in Four, six, two, five, five, zero, 
okay? I'm still on uh, high, so I'm not gonna deal with that. The first thing I'm gonna do is go to menu 11 or receive CTCS. Um, if you don't wanna get any, any uh, traffic on that frequency, that is not a part of the repeater system. That's how you set that code in so you don't receive them. You hit menu again. You're going to set in whatever tone is specified with the repeater. You'll find that on like my GMRS or whatever. Hit menu again to confirm. And then you're going to go to menu 13. And you're going to do the same for the transmit. If you don't set this, it won't key the repeater in. I'm going to set in my PL tone for that one. And then I'm going to go over to menu 26. I'm going to set the offset again in the United States. It's 5 megahertz, which in this case would look like this. Hit menu. And then I'm going to go to shift direction, which is function 25. And in the U.S. it is a positive. So I'm going to select positive. I'm gonna exit out. Now to ensure before I transmit, I have my CT and a positive offset there and then my receive frequency. Now because I set that offset, if you watch the 462, it'll turn to 467. And then with that little squelch tail, that tells me that I have um, accomplished what I was trying to do and I keyed in the repeater and that was the squelch tone from the repeater being activated. Now, if I want to go ahead and save this uh, repeater channel in, I can't save it the way it is. If you save it just like this, it would delete your offset and will delete your shift. So we need to deal with that. To start off with, what I like to do just to make sure it's clean, I go back to the shift direction, turn it off, go back to the offset, clear it out. All right, and then I'm going to close it out. So I still have those same CTS tones. Now I'm going to save it to a channel. First off, I set your receive frequency here. Menu. Hit menu. You're going to go back to menu 27, which is your memory channel. Memory channel. Save it into your channel. Receiving memory. You're going to exit out. Now to set your offset, you have to directly input the, tr uh, the transmitting frequency, which is that offset, all right? So in our case, we knew it was a positive five offset, five megahertz, so I'm gonna type in. Four, six, seven, five, five, zero. All right, so that is my transmit frequency. I still have my tones, I still, I didn't change anything else. So now I'm gonna go back to menu function 27, which is the memory channel. I'm going to memory choose channel. the same channel that I set the receiving channel or frequency on. Transmitting memory. I'm basically going to save over top of it. And now we're set. I'm going to change over to channel mode. Channel mode. Now I am in channel on channel one. And you can see I have a CT, a CT symbol here, meaning I have PL tones programmed. I have a plus or minus means I have an offset properly programmed. If I go to channel one. This is just a normal simplex channel. I don't have that information. So I know I did this right. Just to verify, when I click this, it should say 467. And I got my squelch tone, so I keyed into that repeater. Well, guys, that was the down and dirty, simple how to program in a simplex channel and how to program in a repeater channel. Got any more questions? Either uh, hit me up or reach out and look at uh, Not a Rubicon's uh, YouTube videos on these and a bunch of other guys who are a heck of a lot more knowledgeable. But anyways, thanks for sticking around and I'll see you guys later.